We're in Elkhart to see what saxophones are made of. The body of the instrument is called at this point a blank. On its exterior will be assembled from the smaller parts the system of keys the musician will manipulate to produce the desired notes. A small light placed inside the bore will help the worker adjust the rods, hinges, pivots, springs, and keys to a perfect fit. If light leaks through, so would air. He makes sure it won't. Heat applied to the outside of the key helps crease its pad to conform to the opening to be covered. From beginning to end, assembly of the complex mechanism here at H and A Selmer Incorporated is done by hand. Skilled workers carefully adjusting each part for perfect action. When finished, every key must respond smoothly and quickly to the musician's slightest touch. And now the decoration of the instrument, a job that still relies on ancient skills as practiced by modern craftsmen. One slip could ruin the value of the saxophone, but these men never slip. Usually, the designs consist of elaborate scroll work. Flowers are a great favorite among amateur and professional musicians alike, but there are a few who order special designs of their own particular preference. Elaborate or conservative, the artwork usually is drawn on paper first, then transferred to the metal by tracing. Using the lines as a guide, the craftsman cuts into the metal freehand. It takes long experience, a clear and steady eye, and it adds to the instrument a mark of distinction that's highly prized. The tools of the engraver's trade include a selection of points of varying width, some called liners, and others with wider blades for shading. Among orders passing through this department, one for a pastoral scene, many for mountains and lakes, baseball diamonds, and even a royal flush. Nothing seems too elaborate or too difficult for these artists in metal, men who make sure an instrument will please the eye as well as the ear. Thank you.